Hello, Steve here from Tech Toy Tinker and Retro Arena. I'm just doing a brief video to bring you the latest version of Retro Go for the Game Boy Color. This time, this build has been officially released by Duke Alex on his GitHub page. And moving forward, the link on the Tech Toy Tinker website will actually be switched directly to the releases page on his GitHub so that you can always get the latest version available. And any version that I release will be an incremental in between where we're testing some sort of new emulators, some sort of new features, things like that. So Duke Alex will be handling the official builds and I'll just be working on tinkering with things and making beta builds that have extra features. And then he and I sit down and talk and when we have ideas that we like and we work out together, we he puts them into the Git and that's that. So the first thing, as you can see here, this was always working, I'm just actually using it now for the first time. There's box art, that is possible. You can download the cover art directly from the Git as well, but do read the instructions. You need to rename the covers folder ROM art and it has to go on the root of your SD card. And there's some information about it, so be sure to check that out and read it because it is important. The next feature that's introduced back in this build is the proper options menu without having to be in a game. Now see here, I can change all of this stuff here, I mean, the size, the font, so on. You can change whether it displays the cover or screensaver, how long the delays are, and most importantly, because people have been constantly asking me for a slimmed down build that has only NES Game Boy and Game Boy Color, now there's no need for a second build. You can just show the systems you want and hide all of the systems that you don't want, and that is that. In terms of what's coming in the future, uh, Ducalix is looking into Neo Geo Pocket at the moment, along with Neo Geo Pocket Color. Atari 2600 and the Supervision emulator are also things that are being looked at and on the horizon. But before any of that happens, I believe, because we're almost close to it, or he's almost close to it, I should say, it's kind of a situation where I gave him an idea and then he rolled with it and put it in. But what's gonna happen is there's gonna be, instead of having to go like this and manually look through every single thing independently, there's going to be an overview menu where you just simply have a list of six, seven, eight systems and you just pick the system you want and then it shows you all this. It'll save having to constantly do this to get through everything. So that's going to be about it for this update. There's a few more things coming on the horizon as well. I really am a fan of this particular Game Boy. I don't know that you can get your hands on it yourself. I think that if enough people were to be interested in this exact design, Eddie would probably make a few of them. This is one that I asked him to make for me as a custom order. I'm also looking at getting a blue one that is very similar to this as well. But it would have probably Mario and Luigi on there, or maybe different Pokemon. This made sense because of the fact that it's got the multicolor here. So that's going to do it for this video. As always, thank you for watching. Don't forget to like and subscribe, and we'll talk to you again soon. Have a great day.